Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my Maker Cave. I love the Maker Cave. Not quite as much as I love the Nerd Cave, but the Maker Cave is, is going to be an awesome place and a very fun place for me to hang out. So today what I'm doing is I'm, I'm scrambling my brain, I'm putting together ideas, I'm plotting um, an epic build. Here's my ideas. So I acquired a couple model kits. Um, my, my dad had these in a garage. I think he bought them at a garage sale ages ago. Uh, these model kits, this one's a 1984 GMC pickup. It is uh, pretty cool. And I have a 1957 Chevy Stepside, which is also very, very cool. Now, I'm not just gonna build these model kits and paint them and display them, no. Because that's not really how I do things. I don't, I don't do things like typically. Like you know, you would typically you would you would get some glue, and and some paint, and you would put together this model kit, and make it look like that or paint it a different color. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine these model kits. I'm going to use elements from both of these model kits but it's not to build a nice cool looking vehicle well it'd be a cool looking vehicle what i'm going to do what my plan is is i'm going to um i'm going to make a post apocalyptic um vehicle um here here is a couple ideas that i have for a post apocalyptic vehicle So I'm going to take I'm going to take like some of those reference images. I just found those online. I'm going to take some of those reference images and I'm going to put them together and I'm going to put these vehicles together and I'm going to make a post-apocalyptic truck. Uh, so so it's going to it's going to be kind of rusted looking. It's going to look like things are welded on. It's like the front end is going to be like, you know, so when you plow into a, a horde of zombies, it just scatters them, you know. So we're going to have a thing on the front. We're going to have like roll cages and and netting and things are going to look welded and riveted. We're going to have weapons on this vehicle and it's going to look killer. And then I'm going to try to build a base for because this vehicle isn't going to be a vehicle you can roll around it's going to be specific or strictly for display purposes and it's it's going to be displayed on a base it's going to kind of look like a street and i'm going to have like a street light um i'm going to try to make the street light actually light up i'm going to try to make the headlights and taillights on this vehicle light up so you can flip a switch and and it all turns on and it's going to be a nice display piece i love post-apocalyptic anything games and movies and tv shows um i love the whole zombie craze that's going on right now uh thanks to the walking dead that that's that's what kicked it off people love that show um i can't say i watch a lot of the walking dead because i don't which is odd because i do like that type of stuff but um comic books, uh, video games, all about uh, post-apocalyptic survival. Very much into it, uh, very drawn to that uh, style of, 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 of that genre, uh, you know, of, of um, anything, really. Um, I have watched The Walking Dead. I do much enjoy it. Um, I just, I, have, I haven't kept following the series. I just, I just haven't. I, I don't watch a whole lot of, like, television um, I, or, or Netflix. I do watch a lot of um, YouTube, <laughs> and I watch some movies here and there. But either way, either way. So what my plan is, and what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you, is I'm going to take bit, bits and pieces of each one of these vehicles, and uh, I'm going to make it look awesome. So my my my, what I want to do. Where's my knife? I'm trying to find. Here it is. Got the knife. What I want to do is use the 1957 step side. Um, I, these haven't even been opened yet. I mean, I, I, I don't know how old they are, but they, they're still in the plastic. So 
Th this is the step side, and I like the way it looks. Um, and I like I like the um, I like the shape of this vehicle, and I like that that it's got a step side there, you know. And and I like the look of that 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 old fashioned look. I I'm digging that. So I'm going to use um, probably the the truck and tail uh, the the front and the and the bed of this this truck here. And, uh, but what I'm going to do, I've even thought about using like the bed, you know, the bed of, of the, the, uh, the 1980 some, the 1984. I even thought about using the bed of that, but I don't know. I don't know. Now the bed, the bed of the, of the, uh, step side, you've got to put together. You've got to actually assemble the bed. It doesn't come in one piece like this so um but there is see well i'll show you it doesn't matter if i pull these off because i'm not going to be following any instructions one model doesn't even come with instructions the other one does this is all custom i am just i'm going to be mixing and matching and custom now some of the supplies i'm going to be using i'm going to be using an airbrush obviously glue and paint um, I'm going to be using model putty uh, for for um, you know making things look like um, like uh, pieces of sheet metal riveted on or welded on. Um, there's going to be some hot glue involved because you can make really cool welds uh, things to look like welds with hot glue. Um, what else am I going to be using? Um, and, and then towards the end of the build, I'm going to be using um, um, uh, doing a little wiring and wiring some lights up. But here's what we can do. Here is the flare side. So we could actually flare flare these sides out on this bed. So that this might be something that I'm going to do. Um, so, so we'll have it, maybe we will use this bed and uh, we will attach these, these flare sides to it, uh, you know, um, like that and, uh, and do it like that. I, that, that's probably what we're going to do. And then we got these awesome wheels. Oh God. So we got these great big wheels that came with the the 84 and i'm going to double these wheels up i'm going to double these wheels up for the back so back here these wheels are going to be doubled up of course it's, you know i'm just kind of giving you an idea they're going to be doubled up back here and then i got these smaller wheels these here oh let me open this with z knife this knife has been through a lot uh, this week. I've been doing it's it's springtime. It's been beautiful around here. We're talking 60s and 70s, and I've been I've been using this knife for. A, it's very sharp. It is a Special Forces USA Special Forces knife. It is a um, it is a stainless steel, very sharp knife, and uh, I've been using it for a lot of, of yard work. But anyway, I always I always get sidetracked. So so um, I've also got these very tiny wheels. Uh, in, in comparison, you can see in comparison, there's, they're very small. So these are going to go up front. So these will be up here and then these double wheels will be in the back. And, uh, that is my idea. So I am not building today. Th this is just kind of the, the prequel to, the actual build and i'm thinking the build is going to take parts it's going to go in parts because it's it's completely custom and the cool thing is, oh, in another supply another item i'll be using is a dremel tool i'll be using a dremel tool a lot because we're going to bang all this up this is all going to get banged up and dented up we'll be heating this up and and putting little dents in there but we're going to make this thing look epic it's going to it's going to look mean by the time we're done with it i mean think about it you'll have these big tires back here and these small tires up here and you have like like you know mesh on the windows and all sorts of stuff we'll have a big freaking gun back here we'll have some crazy stuff on the front it's uh it's going to be a fun build um th this idea just came to me my dad said, hey, would you have any use for these? And he handed me these two model kits. And I was thinking to myself, I don't know if I'll build them. I'll take them anyway. Well, when we was heading home, I was like, you know what I can do? I can take those models and turn them into, because I'm thinking to myself, I can't just build, you know, AMT's 1957 step side, you know, paint it baby blue and, you know, call that a, a build in the Maker Cave. I had to do something completely different. So I'm thinking, 
what would look awesome? What would be amazing? And then I'm like, post-apocalyptic vehicle with guns and armor and things and just make it freaking incredible. So that is what's going to happen. That is what I'm going to do. So the next episode in the Maker Cave, the next episode that's going to happen right here in the Maker Cave, and I'm going to get started on this very soon. I do, gotta, I do have to uh, gather a few supplies. Now, I do have an airbrush, which I'll be using very much. Um, I need to get some more glue and, um, and, and a few other things. Um, some things I need to, to make the base, I got to acquire those as well. Maybe. Uh, at least the street light. I'm, I don't think I'm going to build the street light. I think I'm going to buy a small model street light uh, that would be in the scale with this. What are these? 125th, 125th scale. So I could try to find a, a 125th scale street light and make a base. This is going to be a display item. This is going to be something I'm going to proudly display in my nerd cave. And you guys are going to see, you're going to see the epicness of what I can create with these hands, especially when it comes to the paint job. Because if anything is more uh, relaxing and, and, and the funnest part of a build is, is a, when you start custom painting it, when weathering it and making it look um, beat up and old, that, that is a blast. That is the funnest part of the build. But the build is going to be fun in itself and getting these pieces to fit together. We do have a chassis and we're going to have to modify things to get it to these two separate model pieces to fit on a chassis. And um, we're going to make this this build very, very cool and very fun. It's This is part one and this is just the prequel. This is just the build up to the build. And I just wanted to put this video out there because I kind of, I do want you guys to get excited about this build because um, when it's done, it's it, you're going to be shocked at the end result. I, I promise you that. Shocked in a good way at the end result of this build. It's going to look amazing. And uh, there's a lot of people out there who do make post-apocalyptic vehicles out of models. There's a lot of good builders out there. And um, I will be doing a lot of YouTube research um, uh, and watching some of their techniques as well, because honestly, this is the first post-apocalyptic model build. This is the first time I'm going to take two model kits and mesh them together and make something that is not even supposed to be made out of these model kits. So there you have it, guys. The next maker video is going to be me putting together starting starting this project and this project i'm thinking is probably going to be maybe three or four parts uh probably three more parts after this video possibly um because we're talking doing all the customization and getting all the model pieces to fit together and getting the actual build complete um and and uh getting all the dents and things that i want and all the all the modifications and all the extra pieces you know and things and guns and all this stuff that i want on on this uh, build, um, then there's going to be then, then the the third part will be me doing a paint job and adding rust and things and 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 making this thing look beat up and weathered. Think Mad Max. Think Mad Max vehicles. Uh, th that is definitely in my brain when I'm thinking of this build. And then part four will be a sem or building custom building this base with this street light and mounting this this vehicle to the base. Um, so I'm thinking four parts, maybe five parts, depending if the customization now the paint I, I will absolutely be able to get done in one episode um, but customizing this might take a couple episodes assembling everything and figuring out everything and getting everything to fit and you know and, and you, you got to dremel things away and glue things you know it's it's going to be a process it's going to be a fun process and and, and it's going to be a process that you are going to want to see if, if you're very curious about how this build is going to turn out. I am very curious. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned for the next Maker Cave episode where I start a poke, uh, poke, <laughs> a post apocalyptic vehicle build of a very old truck. Alrighty, I'm super excited. I'm super excited to get started on this. Um, once I acquire all my ter materials, I'm going to get started on this and make the first video of the actual build. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you for coming to the Steve Tooley channel. I thank you so much for watching this episode inside my Maker Cave. And stay tuned for this build. It's going to be a good time. I will see you in the next video.